five, four, three, two, one. is stuck. Where am I? Momentum stabilized. Please stay seated. Shit! Warning. Oxygen system breached. Whoa, 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 sit down, you're hurt. I'm fine. Your head is in bad shape. I'm fine, let me help. Warning, oxygen system breached. We need to patch these. Find some XR tape. <sighs> Warning, oxygen system breached. Stable at 39%. Time remaining. One day, 10 hours, 40 minutes. Oh shit. Your head. Come on. Let's go look at it. Wait. Come on. Hey, what's going on? on? Sit down. Where am I? An escape pod. I need to ask you some questions. Try to remember these words cat, green. Boy. Hold on. I'll explain in a minute. Just repeat those words. Cat, green, boy. Good. What ship were you on? None. I'm an intern. Okay. Who's the current president? Of, of uh, Starline or the U.S.? Whatever you remember. Uh, uh, Starline is Juan Gutierrez. The U.S. is Taylor Martin. Uh, you're a couple years off. What were those words again? Uh, cat green boy. Good. What is the last thing you remember before blacking out? I don't know. You don't remember anything? I, mean, I, I remember uh, working for Starline, and then um, uh, I remember uh, applying to work on the Magellan, and uh, I, was, I was signing up for the entrance exam, and... Asher, my name is Maya Oberlin. This might come as a bit of a shock to you, but you've been working on the Magellan 3 for the past five years. Magellan? D doing what? Your badge said upkeep technician. Oh, I guess I failed that exam. There was an explosion on the top deck. I was on the Orlop checking cargo when it happened. You were out cold by the pod door, so I pulled you in. You don't seem concussed, but you have severe amnesia from the head trauma. Give it time. Cosmo, where are we going? I'm currently navigating to the NASA Diamond Mine on Cupid. Wait, with Cupid? 
Like Alpha Centauri, Cupid? Yeah, we are a long way from home. I've never been out of the solar system. I've never even been to outer space. I know this is a lot, but I need you to bear with me. Cosmo, what's our ETA? We will arrive in two days, four hours, and 21 minutes. Shit, oxygen's going fast. Probably another leak. Cosmo, send a distress signal to the NASA Cupid base. Okay, speak your message aloud when prompted. Mayday, there was an explosion on the Magellan 3 and our pod is damaged. We are headed in your direction, but we will not have enough oxygen to make it. We need a shuttle to retrieve us. Over. Message failed to send. Please check the DSN ship and try again. Cosmo, retry! Message failed to send. Damn it! Please check the DSN ship and try again. Cosmo, where's the DSN ship? The DSN ship is located behind the A panel on the port side. You know how to fix that? Nope, I didn't know how to fix a pipe either. Do you remember any of your pre-mission training? No, I mean college feels blurry. So you're a UT with no training and no education. Believe me, I'm not happy about it either. <coughs> Cosmo, <coughs> system reboot. Wait, wait, why are you rebooting? <coughs> I'm making sure it's not an ID-10T. Uh, a what? You don't remember? No, I told you I don't remember anything. When something's not working and all it needed is to be rebooted, it's an ID-10-T. Idiot? They actually teach you that. Day one, Starland tradition. Hey, I think I found it. It looks fine. Welcome. Well, it's I not. So keep pilot, looking. Cosmo, owned and operated by Starline Incorporated. It seems I was rebooted from a previous session. Would you like to pick up where you left off? Cosmo, resend distress signal to the NASA Cupid base. I'm sorry. I'm unable to connect to the deep space network. There we go. Cosmo, troubleshoot DSN chip. One of the physical connections to the DSN chip has been lost. I'm already on it. There's a split wire. That's an easy fix, right? There we go. Okay. Cosmo, resend distress signal. Distress signal sent. <sighs> <sighs> Cosmo. Contact another escape pod. I don't see any other active Starline pods near you. Cosmo, search for escape pods from Magellan 3 Mission MD SO6. I don't see any active escape pods from Magellan 3 Mission MD S06. Maybe we're the only ones. Maybe no one made it down. How? I mean, all the pods are on the bottom deck. You remember that? I mean, I've been obsessed with Magellan since I was a kid. Cosmo, lower the viewport shield. Okay, lowering the viewport shield. No Earth, but... Why are we in Alpha Centauri? It was a detour on a 25-year deep space mission. 25 years? That's like a prison sentence. My family thought I was crazy for going. Why did you? I bought into the whole Earth has ended Movement. Politics aren't a good enough reason to shoot yourself in the space for a quarter of your life. I learned that the hard way. These missions are long and dangerous, so Starline recruits young and naive, and I was both. Plus, I didn't feel like I could do anything else more meaningful at that age. What about you? Why would you have signed up? 
I've always loved space. I think about, you know, for the first time, we can finally explore other worlds. I think about the old scientists like Hawking or Einstein and how jealous they'd be. It'd be a waste if I didn't go. Wow. What'd you do on board? ET Bio. We were looking for life. That's all Starline's ever been looking for. Yeah. About a month ago, we took a detour to Celine to take some samples. Find anything? Can't say. Come on. No. No, Starline is super strict about sharing classified information. Fair. You know, that cut on the DSN chip looked pretty clean. Clean? Yeah, like it was cut on purpose. Everything in there was completely ruined except for that one wire. That doesn't mean anything. Think about it. We took a detour to Celine. We found something on the surface. I didn't say that. It's never classified when you find nothing. Let's just say... Celine was a lot like Europa. Your message to the NASA Cupid base has been received. Who should take inventory? Beds if we can sleep. Bathroom. Barely. Cosmo, where's the key for the lower trap door? The maintenance key is located in the black toolbox on the rear wall, to the right of the exit ladder. Maybe it's supposed to be locked? Maintenance only? Then I should have a key. Something else is going on here. Not everything is a conspiracy. Tragedies happen. Keys get lost. Before, you said you were on the bottom deck looking at cargo. What cargo? Can we just focus on making it home? NASA is going to have questions. I want to have the answers. We thought we left some cargo on Celine. I was making sure we didn't. Lucky you were there. I just hope I'm not the only one who got lucky. You seem pretty calm considering the circumstances. We're trained to stay calm. Okay, but if we really are the last people out here, then that probably means- Are you trying to push me? I don't want to panic. Or get in trouble for telling you something I shouldn't. Yes, it's weird that a wire was cut and that there's no key. But these missions always take detours. And we didn't find anything on Selene. Just like Titan, and Europa, and Enceladus. And if there is some big conspiracy, Starline will fix it on Earth. But we're not on Earth. We're not even on Cupid. We're in a metal box with a shitty engine, no signal, light years from home. Incoming message from Cupid Mine SNR. Playing message. Hello, this is Commander Jack Schaefer head of SNR from the NASA Cupid Diamond Mine. We've received your messages and have all of you located on radar. We're sending a rescue shuttle and we'll be there within 24 hours. Halt any navigation, stop your engines, and stay in place. We want to keep you in the same area. <laughs> Hang tight. Cosmo and navigation. Stopping navigation to the NASA Cupid Diamond Mine. He made it sound like there were more pods. And why couldn't we call any of them? Maybe there's something else wrong with our chip? Or we're not the only ones with a split line. 
Warning. Incoming object. Warning. Incoming object. Warning. Incoming object. Warning. Impact detected. 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 Hydrogen, oxygen, nitrogen. I'm sick of it. Do you want to bail and get some dinner? Asher. Asher. Hey. Hey. Hey, 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 hey. You okay? Uh, you okay? Yeah, yeah. Come on. Come on, come on, come on. Yeah, yeah. Uh. Here. Power's out. We need to find the breaker. It's, it's probably down there. Are you sure you're okay? I'm fine. Just help me pry it open. Yeah, they could explain why our oxygen is going so fast. Why? On the cosmopods, it's all one system. The water is split into hydrogen and oxygen. You add nitrogen, boom, breathable air. You remember that, but not ID10T? Yeah, I remember learning it somewhere, but I don't know. Found the leak. This is all drinking water. What about the breaker? I see it. down here. Yeah. 
cut our DSM line, they locked himself down there. Let's see what he knows. I'm gonna go try to fix the leak. Let me know if he wakes up. Wait, what about our oxygen? Maybe if I fix the leak, we can salvage some of the no, water. Even if you fix the leak, there are three of us breathing this air. Cosmo's timetable is only based on two people. And? And we'll suffocate before NASA gets to us, so we might consider... No. Look, I have this from the lab. We mix it with water and he's gone. Why do you have that? It's an ingredient to something I was working on. We have to hear him out, at least. He tried to kill us. I don't like him either, but he has a right to explain himself before we just- Please! I have people at home. He probably does too. Murder should be our last resort, not our first. Fix the pipe. Still out. Nobody's out that long unless they're dead or in a coma. Where the freak? As a hammer, I will hit you with it if you do not speak up. Three. or something. Who are you? Gail Flanagan. I collect and manage off-ship samples for the Magellan. <laughs> Do you know who I am? Near the upper deck UT. I've seen you. And you! You're the reason I'm in this mess! What are you talking about? Asher, I don't know who this guy is. She's lying! <coughs> You realize sharing classified information is a breach of contract and a violation of federal law. Oh my god, I don't care. What did you find out, Celine? Gail, don't. Microbes. Not quite like bacteria. Not quite like a virus. <coughs> the bio team couldn't figure it out. See, I told you. I can hear you from down there. I've heard all this shit you've been telling him. You found microbes. I brought them on board and took them to the bio team. They quarantined me, which is normal, but, but then I got sick. We couldn't let him out. It would have put the entire crew in danger. You tried to poison we me! We tried to cure you. <laughs> Fuck you!
How'd you get on board? I played possum until I had a chance to, to escape. I hid on the Orlop until I heard the explosions. Once I was on board, I caught the comm system. I couldn't have anyone tattling. Ah! Fuck! Ugh. The bioskin says this thing's only contagious by blood. We found the same thing in the lab, so we should be good. Water? Everything you know about the explosion. He probably blew it up after he escaped. Why would I blow it up? You threatened to kill everyone in the lab. How do we know it wasn't you? How? Why would I blow it up? Hey! Maya, you've told me a lot of bullshit since I woke up. I had to lie. I could be put in jail for sharing classified information. And you tried to kill us. I was freaking out, man. I didn't know what you were gonna do to me. Okay, we all wanna make it back to Earth alive, right? Yeah. The only way we can manage that is if we cooperate. What are you doing? There's a reason humans have survived all these millennia. It's because of our ability to work together. You put three gorillas in a cage, they won't cooperate to find a way out. Same with three tigers, same with three dogs. Humans, on the other hand, will. That's the beauty of the human animal. If you try anything, we will tie you right back up. I'm good, man, I swear. Asher, he's not safe. He's already shown us that. From now on, we cooperate to get out of the cage, understood? So where's home, Gil? <coughs> Portland, Oregon. What about you? I was born in Mobile, Alabama. Raised in Birmingham. How did you go from the Bible Belt to outer space? By telling them all to go to hell. <laughs> Good for you. Nothing like a fuck you attitude. The West Coast could use some more of that. <coughs> what about you? Where's home? Don't fucking talk to me. Oh, no. relax. There's a fuck you attitude. <coughs> you okay? Uh, it's just, it won't stop itching, it hurts. Let me have a look. Is it bad? <laughs> no, it's just gross. Ah, oh, feels gross, man. <laughs> a NASA will be here in 24 hours. Maybe they can take a better look at you. Um, I know that the virus is bloodborne, but we'd all be just a little more comfortable if maybe- No! No, you are not quarantining me! We're not going to quarantine you, okay? I already busted the lock off to get down there. I couldn't if I tried.
What are you doing? Hearing him out. He's not a good guy, Asher. Cosmo says we have enough oxygen for just over 24 hours. A third person makes that 16, so we will suffocate before Ness- Naya, we can't just kill him. I agree, we have to work together, but part of that is making difficult decisions. He's violent, he's breathing our air, and he's carrying a deadly alien parasite. This is part of the anti-parasitic I was working on for him. A little bit won't kill you, but any more than that- I'm surprised that's not classified. I am sorry I lied. I was trying to do the right thing. But we gave him a chance to explain himself, and I still think the best thing would be to get rid of him. Either he dies or we all do. Come on, where's that fuck you attitude you're so proud of? If I do this, you tell me the truth, all of it. Yes, yes, I just want to make it home alive. You're doing the right thing. Hey. I had some spare water. Food. Uh, I'll get some more. She'll try to kill you too. I saw her. It was a chemical bomb rigged to explode. Why would you blow up the ship? You should know. What is wrong with you? You should know me. I hit my head during the explosion. I can't remember much. You should. Why would I? Because you cleaned their lab. Look, I don't remember anything. <coughs> hey. Who is this? Thank you. I'm gonna pour the rest out. If it was dangerous to human beings, I'd do it. Are you ready?
scared me. Who are you talking to? No one, just myself. There's no one on your earpiece or anything? No. We don't have any signal. <laughs> These are standard issue, you have one too? If he's not contagious, and he's not violent anymore, I, I can't kill him. Are you serious? Okay, we have time. I couldn't live with myself if I didn't try everything. Would you stop me if I did it? Guys? I'm so nauseous. We told you to stay down there. I don't feel good. Here. Drink. It'll make you feel better. The Gail, don't drink that. Why? Maya and I were talking, and there's only enough oxygen for two of us before NASA gets here. What's in this? Water. Poisoned water. One of us has to drink it or all of us will die. And since I'm the sick one, I should just take one for the team, right? Yeah. The microbe inside me is the only proof humanity has ever had of life on another planet. Don't you think NASA would like to see that? Or, I don't know, Starline? I'm valuable cargo. My first instinct is to make her drink it. She's a liar and she tried to kill me. <coughs> but you, you're just a janitor. She's a biologist. She could keep me alive until we get home where she could prove to the world that I'm not full of shit. And what do we do? We leave it to chance. That's only fair, right? Sit. Don't make me choose for you. You guys ever play spin the bottle on Earth? Oh, you got to be kidding. Whoever it lands on, drinks. You really think he'll drink if it lands on him? Look, it's the only fair way. If he doesn't do it, we'll kill him ourselves. How do you plan on doing that? Hey, look, Gail, there are other things that we could try, things we could do to extend the- Then why'd you almost make me drink it? Quit stalling. Who goes first? Maya. Unless you forfeit it. Your turn. You said it yourself. We haven't tried everything. Don't leave me with him.
I'll drink it. What? I'll do it. I'll drink it. <laughs> that doesn't even make any sense. Why would you... I will. I'll do it. <clears throat> no, that... No, no, that doesn't make any sense. I think he's dead. Thank you. That's so fucking bad. <laughs> Sometimes things just uh, resolve themselves. <laughs> oh, it reeks. This was mm. so, so bad. Oh, You want one? How are you hungry after that? It's just puke. <laughs> that was not just puke. Oh, well, we missed a message. Really? Cosmo, play message. Playing message. This is Commander Jack Schaefer, head of SNR at the NASA Cupid Diamond Mine. Our rescue pods had to detour around an asteroid cluster, but are en route to your location. ETA is 10 hours and 38 minutes. Cosmo, how much oxygen do we have left? You have 13 hours and 6 minutes <sighs> remaining. <sighs> We're gonna make it. Unless there's another uh, explosion impact or stowaway. <laughs> yeah. I just want to make it home. Who do you have back home? My mom and dad. My sister. Hmm. You? Um, I don't, I don't really have anyone, um. Do you think you'll go back up? Oh, of course. I regret going. We have to make it home. I can't let this decision kill me. If we're gonna do this, I need to know everything. You heard most of it. Gail's team found microbes on Celine, but then Gail got sick a few hours later, and we had to keep him locked up because he would black out and go on these violent rampages. So when he got out, I stopped what I was doing and I put what I was working on in my pockets and chased him down to the Orlop. Hmm. Who's this? Where did you find this? I don't know.
I found it in the undercarriage. Gail said I'd remember. Do you? No. But I feel like he's right. Any memories coming back? I'm gonna do everything I can to get us back home. I promise. So can you talk to me in my earpiece? Yes, I can. How can I assist you? Cosmo, where's the key for the vent by the command module? There are no vents by the command module. Cosmo, where are all the different keys located? The maintenance key is located in the black toolbox on the rear wall, to the right of the exit ladder. Cosmo, where's the other key? I'm not sure I understand.
The procedure's painless. All right, you'll be fine. What if I mess it all up? You have to blow it up. See you on the other side. <laughs> Incoming call. Incoming call. Incoming call. Cosmo, answer! Incoming. Hello? Can you hear me? Who is this? This is Nico Hayes with the Magellan. Oh my god, it's Maya! Maya? Oh, thank god you made it. Where were you? I was on the Orlop, looking for Gail. Uh, I was doing the same thing in the captain's quarters. How'd you get in? The door was open. I thought he broke in. So, you're in the captain's pod? Yeah. I think you and I are the only ones who made it out alive. What about the captain? I haven't seen him. We managed to make it on a big commander pod. We? Oh, uh, I'm with a UT, Asher Collins. The upkeep guy? Yeah, I didn't recognize him. Yeah, he cleaned our lab at night. You wouldn't have seen him. You know, Gail said I... Has NASA called you yet? Uh, yeah. We got a message from them about an hour ago. Us too. I wonder if there's not a way for us both to... Don't mention Gail. If she finds out he was here, she'll tell NASA not to come. Why? She thought he was contagious. He is? Yes, by blood. But she thought that it might mutate and become airborne. Will it? No. No, that's impossible. Viruses take weeks to mutate. Well, this isn't a normal virus. Incoming call. NASA can just quarantine us, can't they? Incoming no. Call. They'll send a separate shuttle and we'll suffocate before it gets here. Hey, sorry, our connection's bad. I figured. Your pod only popped up on my radar a little bit ago. What are you doing? NASA needs to know if we're a risk. This is life or death. It's life or death for them too. I am not getting caught up in the formalities of quarantine when... Where did you get... Stop. Tell me everything. I already did! You're lying! My earpiece. Asher, give it back! What? There's no signal out here. Unless there's something you're not telling me. I already told you everything! I... You had a maintenance key this whole time. You went through my pockets? I found your stash. The poison and the gun. Okay, 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 they're not my keys. I found them on you. I didn't drag you in. I found you in this chair when I got on board. You had a gun, which scared me. Your head was messed up. I didn't know who you were, but I didn't want to leave you, so I just took your stuff and I hid it. How do I know you're not lying? 
You don't. Butterfly bandages. Who fixed me up? I don't know. You were like that when I got here. Then why were you putting bandages over the staples? Because I know that wound. I've seen it before. It's a chip. Designed to selectively remove your memories from the last five years. And this? That's what worried me the most. These chips, they're designed to remove classified information and they use these remotes to punish you any time you remember something they don't want you to. That means either you stole it at gunpoint or whoever put that in your head gave it to you. Either way, I felt it was safer if you just forgot. Procedure's painless, all right? You'll be fine. What if I mess it all up? You have to blow it up. See you on the other side. But would you blow it up? <coughs> <coughs> Out of water. I figured it out. <coughs> Are you all right? Yeah, I'm fine. I'm just... <coughs> Wrong pipe. You don't look fine. <coughs> There's something in my throat. Maya, if you're sick, we... I'm not sick. I figured it out. Like Gail. He was fine. And then all of a sudden he's Oh no, 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 go get the bioscanner. Gail survive? Three and a half days. If NASA sends a quarantine pod, then it's just a matter of how much oxygen we have. We are not telling NASA. Maya, we can't expose them to this. We don't know how it manifests in other people. Maybe mine will be mild. Maybe it varies by sex. You're not sick, and you were exposed the same time as I was. <coughs> Get you to bed. <coughs> I don't want to die out here. Can I tell you something? Sure. I lied too. Some memories have been coming back. What kind of memories? My I blew up in the jail.
Okay, go. levels have stayed constant since he died. There's no oxygen on Selene. The microbes are controlling his body. Grab the gun. You okay? Asher, wake up. Oh, thank God. What happened? I think you got shocked. How long was I out? Less than a minute. And Gil? I think he was electrocuted. Well, was he or wasn't he? Whoa, whoa, hey, 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 take it easy, slow down. I'm fine. There's a whole pod, no power, no water, no DSM. When does NASA get here? Ten hours. As long as we appear healthy, we can make it on that shuttle. Maya, I blew up the Magellan to stop the spread of the virus to Earth. That doesn't make any sense. <laughs> no, I've had memories come back talking to Gil and the girl on the idea about it. That doesn't mean you blew it up. I think about it. I cleaned your lap. I knew what was going on. As soon as Gil got out, maybe I ran to the captain's quarters and... <coughs> <coughs> then why wouldn't you have taken the captain's pod? And what about your chip? Those take hours to implant plus recovery time. Your wound was fresh when I found you. Regardless, blowing it up was the right idea. Killing hundreds of people on board was the right idea? 
Maya, they were dead as soon as Gail got out of the lab. We need to end this here and now. <coughs> I'm fine. Maya, you're not fine. I think we should consider blowing up the pod. So that's it then? You just decided I'm gonna die up here? No, I haven't decided anything. I'm just saying that we should consider. I will lock you in the undercarriage when NASA gets here. You can fend for yourself. <coughs> then what? NASA quarantines you, you survive, they let you go? Exactly! Maya, look at your hand. We're sick. It's only a matter of time before I get sick too. You can't survive this. How the hell do you know? If you want to kill yourself on this ship, that is on you. But I have a life on Earth. I was swindled into a quarter century prison sentence. My mother begged me not to go. My sister told me she'd never forgive me. My father acted like I was suicidal. I have to see them again. All I'm saying is that we consider this without you pointing a gun at me. That's all. Remind me why you went to space. I told you I bought into the whole Earth has ended bullshit and... You wanted to make a difference. Maybe this is your chance. <coughs> Maya, are you all right? False alarm. Okay. Let's turn the power on and blow up the pot. Why? This water is freezing. Yeah, that's right, having your head dunked in it. You know, I used to swim every day on Earth. Yeah, I actually didn't learn how to swim until I was 14. What? How? I grew up in the city and just never went to the pool. What made you learn? My mom told me it was too late. So then I had to learn. So, what? You bought some floaties and found a pool and gave it a shot? <laughs> Pretty much, yeah. <laughs> I don't know. It wasn't hard. Prove my mom wrong. Proving people wrong has motivated me to do a lot. Did proving people wrong motivate you to go to space? Not really. I've never really held many people in high regard. Then why try to save them by blowing yourself up? This wire should hold. Are you sure about this? Not really. Come on. I have an idea. We're lucky. Not many people get to choose their last meal. Um, tube of gravy? Pea soup? Ooh. Freeze dried ice cream sandwich. <laughs> oh, look, I, I can't. I'm lactose intolerant. Will it kill you?
Cheers. Cheers. All right. Death row lightning round. You ready? Yeah. What's something you've never told anybody? Anyone. Ever. Um, I lost my virginity in my grandparents' bed. <laughs> what the fuck? <laughs> yes. Oh my God. How? It's not like they were there with us. We were house sitting for them and it was the only bed. <laughs> What was her name? Mary Kate Sherwood. Oh, so Southern. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, we broke up just after I applied for the Starline job. Do you miss her? I, mean, I always knew it wouldn't last. I was gonna spend my life in space no matter what. Despite what she said or my mom or my teachers or... But you didn't answer my question. A little. There's a few people I missed from that time. Like who? Her. My mom's ex-boyfriend, Mike. My high school best friend, Levi. Were you trying to prove them wrong by coming out here? It, it, I don't think people know how life works. It seems that at some point, everyone decides they're one thing because of what's happened to them or what they've been told or... I, I don't know, I guess everyone I knew felt pretty small and... When they looked at me, they saw the same thing. But what are you supposed to do when all that you've wanted is something more? So I guess I thought that if they could hear my name or see my face because I discovered something bigger than all of them, that that would be the biggest fuck you. So, you're out here in space doing good for humanity that you also want to say fuck you to? How does that work? What, what are you getting at? That you have people you need to make amends with on Earth, clearly, and that you have so much to offer out here in space. I mean, you said it yourself, Asher, it would be a waste if... <laughs> How are you feeling? Totally fine. Then you should go without me. I'll be sick soon. No, Asher, maybe some people are immune. Look, Maya, I know that you want to make it back, but... <coughs> mm -mm. I'm getting sicker. Asher, I'm not going to make it, but you have a chance. You're not sick, and you should be, so you should go without me. Maybe you're right. Spacecraft approaching. Spacecraft approaching. They're early. Spacecraft approaching. Asher, you should go. I don't know. This microbe is the only proof we have that there's life on other planets. You could be the one to bring that to Starlight. How many lives are worth my own? If I'm immune, can I spread it? Would I take that back to Earth? What if five people from NASA die because of me? Or, or two, or even one? Asher, you're not sick! If I go, no matter what, I risk spreading the virus back to Earth. You don't have to do this. If even one person died because of my selfishness, I couldn't live with myself. Cosmo, initiate self-destruct. You would like to initiate the self-destruct mechanism. Is that correct? Yes. Confirmed. Self-destructing in 15. 14. I'm sorry I had to be this way. 12. Me too. 11. 10. 9. 8. 7. 6. 5. 4. 3. 
two, one. The character and ethics section of the Starline Astronaut Entrance Examination has been completed. Please make your way to the exit so that we may disable your memory chip. <coughs> Congratulations. Stand back. Escape pod simulator door opening. Stand back. Escape pod simulator door opening. Stand back. Escape pod simulator door opening. Hey, stay back! Asher, it's okay. No, we're sick. Do not come on board. Asher, put the gun down. Asher Collins, we have a doctor ready for you. Asher, Asher, Asher. No, we're sick. Don't stay back! Asher, you have to calm down or they're gonna have to restrain you. You lied to me. All right, you guys take it from here. Hey. Hey, it was just a test. Give us the gun. Hey, hey, it was just a test. It was just a test. Stop it! Stop it! Stop it! Relax! Oh, no, 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 the gun, it's a fake gun. Stop it! Oh, thank God. Don't worry, uh, it'll all make uh, sense after the procedure. Let's get him out. <laughs> oh my god! <laughs> hey, Gail. Hey, John, how's it going? Asher, you nearly fucking killed me! But that's how it goes, so good job. Hey. Hey, what's up? Nice work. Good job. What the fuck? Asher. Hey. Hey, congrats. You too. What are you doing out here? I'm just enjoying the earth while I'm still on it. <laughs> <laughs> oh, you have to tell me about your exam. Maya told me that it was crazy. Yeah, it was. We were pretty off script. <laughs> Gail told me they had to buzz you because you almost electrocuted him. Yeah. Yeah, you know, I also stole a key from Maya and broke in one of the supply vents. What? You know, by the passenger chair, they had a vent that they were feeding her props. Like the fake gun, and a buzzer, and like extra powder. Did you have to take that powder? Oh no. No, but uh, apparently that was why Maya and Gail were so sick. It's awful. It's like baking soda and vinegar for your stomach and lungs. We played spin the bottle, so I had to drink it. Wait, did you get all the uh, skin rashes? It's like, it's like a fungus. It dries up and scrapes up right after they give you the antidote, but still. You know, Maya told me they're rewriting a bunch of the exam because I exposed so many holes in it. Yeah, I heard you tore the freaking staples right out of your head. And... Yeah, I mean, what do they expect? They kind of put staples there and expect you to just accept that that's brain damage? No. You know, I found your ID in the undercarriage, too. The cleanup crew had completely forgotten to take it out. What? Yeah, I mean, it totally threw us off script. Did you hear that Jacob failed the exam? Yeah. Yeah, I'm glad. Actually, the exam was made to weed out people like him. What? I like Jacob. Look, he's nice, and he did really well on all the written exams, but as soon as the memory chip goes in mm -hmm. and all that training goes away, your true character comes out, and to be honest, I'm not really all surprised that he decided to save himself and not blow up the pod. I could have failed. I really thought about saving myself. Yeah. Yeah, I guess that's kind of one thing the exam revealed. Like most of my reason for going to space was that I, I wanted to prove something to people back home. Same. I always imagined that I'd do something big and die with a legacy, not die anonymously, saving everybody from a virus they'll never know existed. Oh, um, that's my alarm. 
Uh, actually, I gotta go. Where are you going? I got family to see. Just gotta clean a few things up. Okay. Do you think the food in space will be better than it was at the pod? Yeah, I really hope so.